Hey everybody, this is our first video uh, for TechHero.net. And this first video, we're going to be doing video one out of uh, not sure exactly how many yet. Um, but this video is how to speed up your computer, video number one. Well, let's get started. So, the first thing you want to do is go down there to your start menu. Click on that, and in the little search box, you see there at the bottom, you want to type run, R U N. It'll pull a search up, and it happens that mine is at the top, and you see that little icon. You want to click on that program that is run, and it'll pull up a dialog box. Once that box is pulled up, you then want to clear out anything that's already in it and type the percent sign, which is on the number 5 key, capital T-E-M-P, and then another percent sign. Click OK, and then it'll pull up another box, and this is full of all your computer's temporary files that are created when you do something, uh, but aren't really needed. So what you want to do is click, drag, and highlight them all. Just hold down until you get all the way to the bottom. You can see the, the scroll bar is about halfway now. This may take a few seconds. And once you have them all highlighted, uh, you can either press the delete key on your keyboard or you can click on one of them, right click, and click delete. It'll ask if you want to send all the items to the recycle bin. You want to click yes. And it will start working. And this can take a few minutes. As you can see, it's already deleted over half of a gigabyte, which is nice. It helps the speed of your computer as well as uh, clear out your hard drive. Getting close to a gigabyte now. For those of you who don't know, a gigabyte is about 1,024 megabytes and you can see it's deleted 841 megabytes it looks like. And that's crazy because I just did this about a month ago. So all the files have built up already. Then it'll say the action can't be completed. So basically this is your computer telling you that some of the files are protected. It's not letting, you, not going to let you delete them because you need them. So you want to click do this for all items and click skip. And then click continue when if another box comes up saying you need permission. And then it'll finish off the task. And then you can exit out. The next thing I recommend you doing to make sure the action is complete is go to your start button once again and then click shut down and shut down your computer or do restart whichever you want to do alright thanks guys that's it uh, thank you for watching our first tech hero video go to techhero.net for more thanks for watching and have a good one